Hey there everybody, Metal Fox here. Welcome back to Fallout 76. Where the heck am I? <laughs> what in the... What is this place? Well, I was expecting to be in a little camp. This little camp here, Pioneer Scout Camp, that we discovered at the end of the last episode. Whoa. A marshal? Hmm, okay. Oh, prison marshal's around here. Oh, and he already sees me. Okay, well, let's just get right started with this episode. Oh, my, my uh, weapon's broken. I forgot about that. I'll fix it at some point. Whoa, one hit, one kill. Nice. Huh. <laughs> comes another one. Nice. Quest started falsely accused. Talk to the warden about the marshals. Find out why prison marshal robots are hunting you. Oh, we're just jumping right into it. This would be a uh, side quest. I was attacked by robot prison marshals that thought I was an escaped prisoner. I should go talk to the prison warden. Talk to the warden about the marshals. And if we look at that on the map, it is uh, down here, a place we've already been. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, we can go back here. But we know darn well what's going to happen when we go back here. There's going to be about a gazillion super mutants that we're going to have to fight our way through. Uh, but... You know, I did say that I would wait until the game brought me back here, story-wise, because we never did go inside of the penitentiary. Uh, so, uh, here it is. Here's the game bringing me back. So, we will go there at some point. In the meantime, I'm trying to get my bearings as to where I am. Um, and also, I wanted to mention, uh, when I loaded the game up, there was a message in the upper left-hand corner up here. In case you didn't know where the upper left-hand corner was. And it said something about it's um, verdant season and the toxic something. And it said there was something about ab abundance. So I don't know why that decided to show up, but it was pretty interesting. And I don't really know what it means. Let's see here. Uh, if I want to go here, uh, I need to basically turn around and walk in this direction. Is this a monolith? Okay, interesting. Yeah, it looks like maybe they were building a fence at some point here. Well, uh, let's just get to exploring. And uh, see what there is to see. There is a uh, Grafton Steel over there. And this is the top of that um, lookout tower. And yep, I'm heading in the right direction now. I felt like I doubled back, but I guess not. Here's a little hut up here. Let's go check it out and see what's in here. So this was once a pioneer scout camp. Oh my! Looky here, we've got so oh some very high level feral gold dudes, and um, those dogs running around. Yep, wild mongrels running around over there. Huh? Look, like they're trying to oh they're over there fighting each other. Jeez, well, I tried to get him before he got to me. Boy, they give you a lot of rads when they hit, man. They are rad heavy. Did he kill those dogs? It'd be pretty cool if he did. Those mongrels. I should call them mongrels, huh? I don't like the thought of killing dogs. Mongrels, on the other hand. <sighs> Screw them. Oh, look at that. Somebody made a makeshift bridge there, it looks like. Nothing on that wild mongrel. Look at this cute little place. It's the activity center. Activity center 2, it says. Wood scraps. I don't know. Chessboard. I can't take the birdhouse dog on it. I really wanted the birdhouse. How are we looking uh, with scrappable items? Not bad. Still, though. What am I carrying that's so heavy? Well, probably aid. Excuse me? Where's my aid? Uh, why, why I'm not, why don't I see any aid? Uh, items? Aid. I have aid. What are you talking about, game? Hmm, okay. Let's eat some, uh, deviled eggs. And let's eat some ribs. And, uh, have a sweet roll for our dessert. There, goodbye. Hunger sated. So what's, what's the deal here? Maybe it didn't show up because it's nothing I can craft, 
right? Like, a, let me go into craft. Last time I went into scrap items. If I go into craft, well, that brings up this screen here, which is a different story entirely. Uh, let's see. Anything interesting I can make? Not really. I mean, I can make some... No, I don't want to exit it. I can make some bulk cork. Um, I don't really know what I'm supposed to do with bulk cork, but uh, there you go. Bulk oil, bulk rubber, bulk spring, bulk steel, bulk wood. Bulk, bulk, bulk. Uh, I'm curious if this is a way to manage weight. Probably not. So right now I'm at 165. So let's bulk some things and see what happens uh, if I bulk them. We were at 165, and I'm going to bulk up... Uh, well, cork probably doesn't weigh crap. Actually, I don't think... Well, that one has a little bit of weight to it. Here we go. Bulk steel. Let's bulk it up. Oh, that's it. That's all I could bulk. Well, that probably didn't make any difference weight-wise, did it? It did not, so I don't really understand the whole bulking thing. See, we got some more fox hides in here. Not, yeah, I haven't really decided what is important. Oh, I picked the wrong thing. What's important to take now? Like adhesive, I know is good. Hides, I don't know. What does hide give me? Um, and then oil, I feel like is something important as well. I'm just going off of uh, what I vaguely remember from Fallout 4. Uh, could have really nothing to do with this game. Um, Foxhide gives me leather. Okay. Well, I guess I need leather for um, armor items, right? So that might be important. Duct tape, of course, I need for adhesive and cloth. And uh, here's some bulk steel, which, uh, hey, look at that. I can scrap it right back <laughs> into scrap. So um, I did that just simply because I don't want it in my inventory. Uh, I, maybe you could bulk it up so that you can give it to another player, maybe, is why you would want to do that. I don't know, man. I don't know. Let's move on. Let's look around here a little bit. Canoe. That'd be fun if we could get, a, get in a canoe and kind of take a little trip on a toxic lake. Yeah, discovered Pioneer Scout Lookout. Well, this is even a different place. So we've got a Scout Lookout and we've got a Scout Camp. Two different places. It looks like here's Activity Center 1 where they were making some uh, bird houses here. And here's some glue which I could turn into uh, adhesive, which is fantastic. Seems like I'm always looking for adhesive in these games for repairing and crafting armors. Well, this looks interesting. Let's go up here and check this out. I like how when we're up on this top of this hill you could hear the breeze blowing so why does this guy have a military cap on man this is just a scout camp makeshift battery these things are heavy but there's probably some good stuff in there I don't think I mean is the military involved in because when I think of scouts I think of boy scout boy scouts and the military is not really involved with them I don't think what are we going to find up here? Well, that's not very useful up here with these steep stairs. I don't know. Maybe. Um, well, there's a cute little place. I like this place. Oh, this reminds me of uh, Firewatch. Let's unlock this footlocker and help ourselves to this person's private stuff. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Um... I don't really want any of this stuff. I mean, a metal left leg, I guess. I don't know why I keep hitting space to do that. And that has gold in it. But as far as the left leg, is that better than what I'm currently left legging? No, it's not. It's way worse in every regard. Propaganda posters there. Oh, there's some rounds. Got a camera and a dog bowl. Uh, good old first aid. Oh, man. I was hoping that this would be a note that I could read and learn a little bit about what happened here. Pretty cool map. Reference. Let's see. Does that match our map? Hmm. I don't see it matching our map. I was looking for this here, you know? See if I could see this. There's like a river going through here. But on this map, uh, I don't... Oh, here's a river. But, eh, okay, there we go. This is it. See, this is... 
that little loop that I was just looking at. See that? Right there. Okay. So, if you follow this up to where this ends at the dam, you can see... Oh, here, I'll point to it. That must be the dam right there. I guess. Anyway, there you go. It's a map. Don't get too excited about it. I like maps, though. I think maps are cool. Well, here's a raider corpse. So raiders have been here, and he did leave a note, it looks like. Bosley's note. Let's read Bosley's note. We're just being all kinds of nosy. You can find him across the lake. Uh, oh. You can find him across the lake on the roof of Grafton Steel at 2 p.m. tomorrow. Take out Mr. Henrik and your debt is paid. Well, remember, when we were in Grafton Steel, we found Mr. Survey Area Activate. What the? Okay, hold on. We'll get to that. Uh, we found Mr. Hendrick's body. Henrik, not Hendrick. Uh, you remember that? Remember that? Henrik's note. This one said, Mr. Bosley will be in the watchtower across the lake at 2 p.m. tomorrow. Don't say I never did anything for you. So somebody warned Henrik that this Bosley guy would be here. Huh. Wow, what is going on here? Who is trying to kill who and why? I don't know who these people are. I thought they were related to, uh, you know, Mr. Woods. I can't remember his first name. And uh, how he was running Grafton Steel, but I don't know either one of these two names. So, yeah, I'm not sure what the story is here. Interesting. <laughs> and even more interesting, what is this survey area business? I can activate it. So, by all means, let's activate. Map updated. Whoa! You have identified two new locations on your map. Graninger Farm and Grafton Dam. What is this? Assassin's Creed? In Assassin's Creed, you climb towers like this, and you do a synchronize, and then areas show up on your map. So, it looks like something like that is happening here in uh, this game. Yeah, let's see. This is Smith Farm. I already knew about that. The two new locations that showed up... Um, there's Woods Estate. Okay, here we go. Grand, Grand Injured Farm. Okay, it's grayed out. Cool. That, that's how, that's... Okay. That's how I know I haven't visited yet. Visited it yet. And then the other one is, uh, Grafton Dam. Okay. Huh. Well, we were here at Black Bear Lodge, but we somehow didn't see Grand Injured Farm. Probably because when I was at Black Bear Lodge, I saw this in, off in the distance and made a beeline up here to check this out. And it looks like there's still other things left to be explored up there. So at some point in the game, maybe we'll go back there. Well, I say maybe. I'm, I do intend on exploring everything. So uh, that was interesting. Little survey area there. So now I'm really interested in uh, making it to the top of any tower I can find. So that... Uh, oh, here's a cooking station so that we could do a little bit of surveying. Uh, can't make any drinks. Can't make any food. Can't do any healing, meat, plants, anything. Can't do crap. Okay. Can I survey in this direction? I cannot. So I'm starting to wonder... You know, these these uh, treasure maps that I've got. Remember this one? There's a, a tower up on top of a hill here, and I'm in a tower. But I don't know if that really matches... And then again, right underneath that circled N, I believe that to be the dam. But, could be wrong. I could be wrong, I've been wrong once or twice. Oh, there's a doe down there somewhere. So whatever that is, that monolith looking thing is, I don't know. Thought that looked interesting. Alright, well this was kind of cool, checking this place out a little bit. Seeing what there is to see. So he's got a little ham radio down there. Huh. I can't rest in that bed. That would be a nice bed to rest in, but uh, I can't rest in it. Well, let's, uh, let's go down and explore more of this place. Try not to fall to our death.
So much to see. So much to explore. Alright, let's go down here and, uh... Let's see. So, boy, they put these crafting centers way up here on top of this hill. I wonder if I could walk across this tree branch. It looks like a jail. Is it scout jail? Let's see if I can walk across this. I can! Oh, I hear music playing. Um, boy, that is one toxic looking lake. And we know that it is toxic. Because we were told that in a message from the, uh, Grafton Mayor. So now that I'm on top of here, what do I do? Oh, look at this. Ever Upwards. Pioneer Scouts of America. Oh man, I want to turn that radio off. Oh, it's actually playing um, Country Roads, which is definitely going to um, be marked as copyright. So I want to turn that off. Oh, here's a armor workbench. Scrap the junk, including this metal left leg. Did I look in here? Yeah, I came in here. Right? Yeah, I found some glue, remember? Alright, let's, uh... Let's walk on down here. And let's, uh... Let's see here. Oh boy, why is it so radioactive right here? I don't know, I'm gonna talk over top of this radio here, hoping that, uh... Oh crap, it's upstairs, so I'm just gonna keep talking, hoping that... By talking over top of it, the, uh, YouTube's content thing won't pick up on that. There we go. I hear movement. It could just be a doe, or it could be something far worse. Oh, it's sounding like something far worse. Oh man, now I wish I was on top of the building so I could shoot down at this thing. But oh, there it is. Okay, it's just a dumb old mongrel. <laughs> I just wasn't expecting it to be right there. It was just a mongrel, everybody. Calm down. Oh, look at this guy. He's moving to... Oh, a vicious mongrel. And I missed him. Oh, man. That looked like it hurt a lot. Whoa! <laughs> this mongrel can shoot garbage cans. <laughs> Shot that garbage can at me. That was awesome. scared the crap out of me. What do we got here? Canned dog food. Well, in a pinch, maybe we could eat that. But I don't know. Here's a recipe for squirrel on a stick. I'm starting to think that maybe I have enough food that I don't need to be eating dog food. But, you know, there will be times when I'm really, really hurting for food, I'm sure. I just don't want to carry it around. Recipe for fried rad toad legs. Interesting. And then spices and sugar, I guess those just go into my scraps. They don't show up here. Uh, let's see, spices, no. Are they, are they just considered junk? No, they're not. So I don't know where... Um... Oh, there they go. They go right here. And here's a bunch of spoiled fruit. What is this stuff that's spoiled? Is it? I mean, surely the stuff that I cook doesn't spoil, does it? I don't. I really don't know how to keep track of that. What's exact? What exactly is spoiling? Here, here's a paper bag of spoiled stuff for the next guy. Oh, here's some water. Well, looks like uh, maybe this was the mess hall, huh? See if there's anything interesting here. Not really. All right. Let's keep looking around. Not a whole lot to see or do here. See if there's any more buildings in this direction. 
Oh, there's something down there. Oh. I didn't see that. And then there's, um... Stuff here. Another cooking stove. Which I guess... You know, I can cook this wild mongrel meat that I picked up. Meat. Mutt chops. Okay. I want to do a little experiment here. <clears throat> Let's look at my inventory. Do I have any mutt chops currently? I do not. I have no mutt chops. Okay. So I'm going to craft, and I'm going to make some mutt chops, and then I'm not going to eat them. And we'll see if they turn into uh, spoiled meat. Kind of an expensive uh, test, but I really want to know. So, now I've got four mutt chops. I'm going to try to remember not to eat them, and we'll see if they ever um, turn spoiled. That was another one of these things. Over here, what is this? Ten ways to be a safe archer? Okay. Well, there you go. So we got an archery range here. Boy, lots of people were here at the archery range when uh, things went south. Another recipe for water filter, which I already have picked up before. Alrighty. Plan for crossbow. Okay. Huh. I didn't have this before. So under notes. Chemistry workbench. Can't do that. Crossbow. Cool. Newsstand. Tinker's workbench. Water filter. Recipe for these legs and scroll on a stick. Okay, these here. Oh, barn building set? Okay, cool. These three things here I can move into my stash next time I'm at my stash. Like, I'm going to remember that. Uh, there is an arrow I cannot pick up, which is too bad. Over here, some cans. Another cooking station. Well, there's no shortage of cooking stations and uh, workbenches here at the Pioneer Scout Camp. I like this place. This guy's sitting in a very dangerous location. Why is there like a vault tech dude here? Vault doctor here. Is vault tech involved in... Um, here's another one. Vault tech involved in uh, Pioneer Scouts? And why are there so many chairs here? So I'm, I'm going to guess that maybe raiders were here at some point, because we did see a raider up there in the tower. Uh, so I guess that maybe raiders, you know, used this place as a kind of like a firing squad place. And look at all the bodies here. Nasty, grim stuff. Let's keep exploring. Got the rest of the buildings here at the scout camp. What's this? Nothing. Oh, here's some logs. Gotta gotta make sure I keep those. Don't want to go to cook some food or boil some water and find out I don't have any wood for fire. That'd be bad. Looks like this is where they had little campfires. Campfire location. Roundup. That's interesting. That looks like it was built by raiders. Still haven't seen any raiders, and I don't think I am going to. But we'll see. The reason I don't think I'm going to is because I don't think there's any uh, humans left alive. At this point in time. In uh, Fallout history. Let's go up here and check this out. Very shoddily made. But it's still standing. Okay, I'd like to climb up here, please. Here we've got some rounds and some duct tape, and let's not guess what the bucket was used for. Alright. Man. 
Still a lot left to explore. That's where I was at the end of the last episode. I ended this ep that episode right there by that cooking station. And then there's uh, Grafton Steel, which we looked at last episode. Bubblegum. Do I need bubblegum? What, what do I do with bubblegum? I don't know. Can I use it as adhesive in a pinch? Can I use it to MacGyver some stuff? Explore the unknown with the Pioneer Scouts. Looks like it used to be a pretty neat place. I always look, I know it's gross. I look in the toilets because sometimes things are hidden in there. Oh, I'm a thirsty boy. What do I have to drink? Well, I have um purified water. Drink of that. Right. Yeah, another uh, military vehicle there, so. I guess there's some kind of relation between the scouts and the military. Lots of lockers. Why is there a cigar, bo cigar box here at Pioneer Scouts? Man, they got these beds crammed in here. Makes me wonder if there's something up there worth trying to get to. The answer to that question is, no, there is not. Nothing much in here at all. This place is in the water. B02. Guess maybe these are barracks. I really do not want to walk around in this nasty water. But at least it's not radioactive. Okay. Oh, jet ski. What does that say? Uh, Rutkowski Boats. Uh oh, what's this? Oh, toxic water, okay. Oh, nasty. Oh, you could go swimming here. Another cooking station. Well, I should be able to craft some stuff, shouldn't I? Drinks? Yeah, I could make boiled water. That's about it. That's it, that's it. Nothing else. Little, um... What do you call this place where boats are? The boat place? You know, the boat place. Where you get boats. Soot flower. Still toxic, man. Makes sense. It's a rather toxic lake. Go fishing. Water's cool looking. Look at that. That's pretty neat looking. Look right down inside of there. I don't think I explored this, um... Holy cow, there was a lot of rats. I don't think I explored this building right here. Let's run over to it. Was it worth all those rads? Probably not, but it was a shortcut. This, uh... 
Showers. Daggone it, press the right button, man. Oh, I'm sorry, did I interrupt something? Boy, they, they were so easy to kill, I actually feel a little bad about it. But we found the showers. <laughs> Try not to look at it. I hear you. I like my serrated uh, machete. I like it a lot. Pretty awesome. So these are showers. I didn't see any uh, toilets in here. I guess I don't understand why they have running water for showers, but they didn't have any running water for the toilets. They had to use outhouses. Well, um, let's see. There's a little bit more to this place over here. Go check it out. It's a pretty big camp. It's weird that they would build this camp right here by a steel mill, but maybe the camp was first and the steel mill came later. Oh, look at this guy. I want to say hi. You know, it's a welcoming committee. More walking around. It's all right. We can take him. This is. These are very, very low-level enemies. These are fancier barracks here. Purified water, that's a nice thing to find, right? A ratty skirt. Could rest in these bunk beds if we wanted to, but I don't. I did look in that, didn't I? Yeah. Listen to that. What is that noise? Do you hear that? What is that? It's gone now. What? What am I hearing? from in here. Oh, haha. <laughs> so this is the, a perk I've got. Um, well, I could do some leveling up too. You have an unopened perk pack. Okay, let's do this real quick. Perks. We get uh, luck of the draw, pack and light. That one and happy camper. An overachiever died at the blood clinic. She gave 100%. Well, I was hoping I would get pickpocket, but I didn't. But uh, what I was going to show you was I have this... Um, right here. Panapictographist. Graphist. You hear directional audio when in range of a magazine. So that's what's going on here. Um, that's, what, that's what we're hearing. So that's how I was able to find this... Uh, magazine, which is pretty tricky to find. Uh, agility, um, I don't think I have anything that goes in agility. Why is it just showing me, um, strength stuff? I don't know, but let's go ahead and pick up Astoundingly Awesome Tales 10. The Starlet Sniper. Alright, it's a pretty cool drawing. $29. Okay, so now we have Astoundingly Awesome Tales 10. And if we look at that in... Is it considered aid? What is it? Nope. Not a weapon. Certainly not a peril. It is under... Where is it? Am I just not seeing it? It's 
not with the bobbleheads. Oh, these are sorted, not sorted by, um... There we go. There we go. Astoundingly Awesome Tales 10. Inspect. Scoped, scoped gun damage plus 15%. So, do I need to use it or just, just simply having it? Oh, I think I just used it. Okay. Well, I don't know if that's permanent or not. Uh, if I go here to my stats, effects. Well, here we go. Uh, astoundingly Awesome Tales, 10. Oh, it's, it's uh, timed. That sucks. So for the next 25 minutes, my scoped weapons will do more damage. So, oh well, it's not permanent. So I kind of wasted that, I guess. Anyway, back to uh, my perks. Look at agility here. Whoops, okay. Action points regenerate 15% faster. That might not be a bad thing for me to have since I'm always waiting on action points. Born Survivor falling below 20% health will automatically use a stim pack. I don't think I want to do that. Dead Man Sprinting. Sprint 10% faster at increased AP cost when your health is below 40%. Uh, Gorilla, your automatic pistols now do 10% damage. Plus 10% gun runner. Running speed is increased. Gunslinger. Do more damage. Wow, I have a lot of per uh, agility stuff. Sprinting consumes 20% fewer action points. That might be good to have too. Moving target, gain 15, plus 15 damage and energy resistance while sprinting. Pack and light, your pistols weigh 25% less. And through hiker, food and drink weights are reduced by 30%. Wow, that would be really good, I feel like. Let's, uh, let's back out of here and look at something. So right now, my weight is one... That's my hit points. <laughs> 173 out of 185, and I believe the reason I'm so close to being over-encumbered is because of all this food and drink I'm carrying around. So... Let's apply this perk and see if this goes down. You know, if I decide I don't want the perk, we could always remove it. Well, I can't unpick the card though, but we'll deal. Pack and light. No, this one. Through hiker accepts. Okay. So I've got this. Now we go here. I was telling me I have two unused points. This is confusing. Um, where's my agility stuff? Why? This is uh, all very confusing. Go in here. Go to agility. This is where I pick a card. I already did that. So now... Here we go. Now I pick a card. I could... Filter, Strength, Endurance, Charisma, Intelligence, Agility. Okay, here we go. I can, I can put this in there too, but I'm not really carrying any pistols. But I, Plus, I just want to see the effects of this. So now we're at 160. So that was pretty good, right? I already forget what it was. It was wasn't it 179 before? So that really helped a lot with that. So, uh, apparently, we have another agility point that we can spend. So, uh, I kind of like this one. Regenerating my action points faster. Let's get this one. That sounds pretty cool. And now... There. Okay, cool. Well, now it's telling me there's another unused point. What the heck? This is just weird. Why is this one, like, animated? See that? Why is that animated? I don't know, man. So now I get to pick another agility? Is that right? This is not making any sense. One unused point. Oh, wait a minute. Am I... I think I'm misunderstanding how this works. So... When I pick a card, that increases my special ability, I guess. Doesn't, that doesn't make sense because I have other, um, talk on it, I, this interface is terrible. Uh, so 
So, strength of six. Two, three, four, five. And then I have two extra ones here. Actually, I have two of these, so... I was... I don't know, man. I, I, I do not understand that at all. I'm gonna have to read about that, because that, that does not make any sense to me at all. Boy, it is bright out here. Hey, dude, what's up? <laughs> Shoot a man in the back. Oh, hey, what's up? Come here. <laughs> Alright, don't come here. <laughs> Where are you going, dude? He's going to warn the others. Bandage scissors. What do we got in here? Ooh, first aid. I like first aid. Is he coming back now? Oh, <laughs> creepy. Looking to see if there's any foot lockers in here. These damn things in their radioactivity. Alright. Is he back? Has he come back to say hi? No, not yet. I could collect some water. Or not. Okay. Screw you, you can't collect water. Oh, hi. Nice. Get further range with this thing than I realize, I think. Combat knife. Can't say I'm interested in any of that stuff. Short hunting rifle and some rounds. What's this? A silver scrap. And I can't get into that. I'm telling you, man, something weird is going on here. Filter by perception. Oh, yeah, I have no perception cards at all. None available. So I can't get into that safe. U.S. government supply requisition. Grab another one of those. Well, I think that's it for uh, the Pioneer Scout camp. It was thrilling stuff exploring that, wouldn't you agree? There is still something nearby that I do want to look at. Actually, no. This tower here, I guess, is what we saw up on the hill. Well, I really don't think it is. According to this, it's to my right. So yeah, I don't know... I don't know what um, that tower is that we see on my map, because there is... You know, it should be like right here, and there is no tower here. So I'm not real sure what this thing is trying to tell me. I mean, I guess it's just for looks. So if we look at the map now, it's like it should be like right behind me here. And uh, it's not really. So, okay. Um... I say, I say good sir, I say what we do now is, oh there is a tower up there, have I been up to that, yeah that's the tower I was in, yeah that's, yeah I'm looking right at that tower, I want to go down here to Grafton Dam, okay I'd like to place a marker there, I can't place a marker right on top of the thing I want to go to, but I can put one here. So I want to go to Grafton Dam and see if I'm right about the dam being split in half. That's what I want to do. Best way to do that without crossing the water. I'm trying to decide which side I want to go on. If I go that way, I'm going to, have to fight all those super mutants again. So let's go this way. Oh, bleached dogwood. I don't know. I'll harvest it. I don't think I've seen what bleached dogwood is for yet, but uh, I'll pick it up. Hope that it doesn't go bad. <laughs> this is where I started this episode, right here. <laughs> Can't 
Camp Lewis, Order 451, Pioneer Scouts of West Virginia. There you go. So we're going to try to walk along the, this bank of the lake, make our way around it, see if we can't get to um, the uh, dam. walk over those dead bodies. Shame on me. I haven't been there yet. Don't know if that's just for looks or if there's actually something there. There's some kind of UFO space needle looking thing over there. Which I guess is part of the dam maybe. Oh boy. Is this like a river that I need to somehow cross? Doesn't really show up as a river on the map. Hmm, how am I going to cross this? Hmm. Looks like I pr picked a tricky way to get across here. Even if I jump down in there, I don't know how I'd get out. Well, at least it's kind of pretty here. I think I might be getting close to a place where I could cross it. Oh yeah, that's actually really pretty out that way, huh? Yeah. Let's see if this hurts. Yeah, I'm good. Alright. Picked up no rads at all, which is nice. climbing here. Can I climb this high? Uh-oh. Hmm. I hope I don't get trapped. Alright, here we go. This, this looks pretty good. We should be able to get through here. Getting dark. Oh, well, gotta get that mutated fern dog on it. It's important. Well, we haven't looked at this place yet. Oh, dog on it. I keep forgetting that uh, I haven't repaired my freaking um, sniper rifle. Well, it would have been a nice thing to have right here. Real nice thing to have. This is doing pretty good, actually. Well, Misty duck on it. Come on up here so I can hit you. Oh, man. Oh, my gosh. Those things. Ah, dang it. I hit him. <laughs> that was close. Luckily, he was trying to come up here and hit me with a board. Oh, looking like I'm thirsty. Oh, oh. Oh. Oh, hey, what's up? Oh, man. Where are you? Oh, come on. That is really frustrating. Get the crosshairs right at him and I don't hit him. You're next. Nice headshots. Oh, another one shooting at me. I want to drink some water, but not with somebody shooting at me, obviously. And these guys, I swear, could see right through the brush. Well, that was nice of them to come up here and greet me so that I didn't have to go down there. Get them. Purified water. I'm not thirsty anymore. 
All right, let us uh, loot some stinking super mutants. What has he got on his back? A wheelbarrow. <laughs> That's awesome. That's what I saw on a dude before. I didn't realize it was a wheelbarrow because he was laying on it. Where's the other guys that were shooting at me? I want their stuff too. What's this up here? Just uh, a little, little hut. Hey, non-toxic soot flower, soot flower, did you see that? <laughs> Finally, it does exist. Ooh, potato plant. Well, this is a cute little place somebody's got up here. Welcome, it says. The dinner bell here. Well, this is a cute little place. Huh. I love that it says welcome. All right. Ooh, what's this? Boy, it's been a long time since I've seen rhododendron. Boy, it's nice to get out of that toxic area, huh? Ah, oh, soot flower. Fantastic. Well, uh, before we get down there and do that, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode. Because um, I don't know how big that place is. I don't know how long it's going to take to explore. So, um, we will just go ahead and end this episode here and see where the game puts us next time. And uh, then we'll go down there and kind of explore that place, see what it is, and then uh, make our way over to the dam. So, hope you join me then. And I uh, hope you guys had fun following along with me on this episode. I've, I've had fun exploring the Pioneer Camp and uh, seeing what there is to see out here. Boy, there's a bunch of dudes. So, uh, if you had fun too, why don't you let me know. Maybe leave me a like or a comment. Thank you guys so much for watching. I sure do hope I see you again in the next episode.